We're going to begin this half hour with an investigation you'll only see here on 11 News. More than one year after a truck spilled more than 2,000 gallons of diesel in a mountain town, and this is some of the video from that time last spring. The cleanup for this is still not finished. We sent 11 News reporter Melissa Henry to Woodland Park, where one man tells us he started off trying to get answers from local leaders for months, and when that didn't pan out, he reached out to us. Taking a look here at Fountain Creek in Woodland Park, you can see all kinds of equipment in and around the creek. Now, locals tell me this has all been here for more than a year and that they haven't seen contractors on site in many months. My house is right there. Uh -huh. Nick Moran lives right next to Fountain Creek, where fuel flowed into last May after a diesel truck flipped over. He says he saw contractors on site regularly for about two months after the spill. One day I came out here and they were loading up all their equipment and they drove off. Okay. And this is what they left. After months of wondering why contractor equipment was left untouched, Moran called local officials. Nobody told us anything. Everything both myself and my landlords have done or found out, we have struggled to get the information. Nobody's wanting to say anything about anything. They claim to have tested my water, but myself nor the um, landlords for my property have ever received the results. Moran is on well water and despite his efforts, he has no clarity on to what extent his water may or may not have been impacted by the fuel spill. The other one I wanted to provide an update on was the fuel spill that happened uh, last May of 2023 because we received some questions about that. That's Woodland Park City Manager at their council meeting on June 6th after 11 News asked for environmental test results tied to the spill. I got an update last week after multiple requests for update oh. that there were still small, quote, hot spots oh. um, in the, the majority of the fuel contamination had been removed, but they were asking if they had permission to remove those hot spots said of course Woodland Park is using a contractor named EnviroServe for the work city leaders said in that same meeting the reason the work is not done is because EnviroServe still has not shown proof of an Army Corps of Engineers permit which the city says is needed for work in a floodway locals like Moran are left with more questions than answers Who's going to take responsibility for the lack of management for this cleanup Yeah, from start to finish? In Woodland Park for KKTV 11 News, I'm Melissa Henry. Now, KKTV did file a Colorado Open Records Act request to the city of Woodland Park for the environmental test results tied to that fuel spill. We'll let you know when we hear back. Neither Woodland Park leaders nor the third party contractor EnviroServe would speak with 11 News about the fuel cleanup process. All right, let's check your forecast this afternoon. I know 